Our lesson for today is about finding the least common denominator or LCD in rational algebraic expressions. So for example, we have 3 over 6x squared and 4 over 18x. So since this is least common denominator, we have to take the denominators only. So for the denominator, in the first rational algebraic expression, we have 6x squared. For the second denominator, we have 18x. Okay, so what we're going to do is same with uh, prime factorization. We get the prime factors of 6. So to get the prime factors of 6, that will be 2 multiplied by 3. So 2 times 3. For 18, we have 2 times 9. And then 9 is equivalent to 3 times 3. So the prime factors are 2 times 3 times 3. Now, so the same process will be used with uh, GCF, but the latter part will be different. Okay? So for the variables, we have uh, x squared and x. So in the first denominator, we have here 2x's because our exponent is 2. So we have x multiplied by x. Here, we only have 1x, so we put x here. Now, to get your LCD, what we're going to do is to get a pair. So, we have here one pair for two. So, you put two here. Another pair here. So, we put three. Next, as you can see, um, there is another pair here. So, we put X. Now, and the difference between GCF and LCD is that the only common terms or factors are taken for GCF, whereas in LCD, we get the common factors and we also get the uh, not common factors. So we have here 3 and x. So 2, 3, and x are the common factors, whereas 3 and x are those that are not. So what we're going to do is to multiply all the numbers here. We have 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3. So that will be 18. And then we have here 2x's, so 18x squared. So this will be your LCD. Let's have another example. For the next example, we have 3a over 5 multiplied by n plus 1 and 2n over n plus 5. So again, we take the denominators. We have here 5 multiplied by n plus 1 for the first fraction. And then for the second fraction, we have n plus Plus five. So in here, we already have binomials. So what we're going to do is we simply get 5 here, then this factor. So we have n plus 1. For the second denominator, we just simply write n plus 1. So for the LCD, as you can see, there are no common factors. So what we're going to do is to list down each of them. So 5 multiplied by n plus 1 multiplied by n plus 5. So this will be your LCD. Or to simplify this, it is also equivalent to 5, then n plus 1 times n plus 5. So this will be your LCD. Okay, now, what if you are given more than two terms? So 
for example, we have x plus 1 all over x squared minus 3x minus 4 and x plus 2 all over 3x plus 3. So in this part, we apply factoring method. Okay? So again, take the denominator x squared minus 3x minus 4 and the other denominator 3x plus 3. So in the first denominator, we factor this out. So we will use GT or general trinomial because we have three terms here which is a trinomial and your last term is negative. So we cannot apply PST. Okay? So we put pairs of parentheses. We get the factors of this. So x, x squared, factors of x squared are x and x. So since your last term is negative, it means we put plus and minus. Because if you multiply positive and negative, it will come up with a negative number. So what will be fac the factors of negative 4 that will have a sum of negative 3? So if that's the case, we put 1, positive 1, and then negative 4. Or negative 1, then positive 4. If you multiply this, you'll come up with negative 4. You also can have, you can also have positive 2 and negative 2. So no need to write negative 2 and ne positive 2 because they are just the same. So which among them will have a sum of negative 3? So let's try. 1 plus negative 4 is negative 3 because they are different in signs. So we have to subtract them. 4 minus 1, that will be 3 and take the sign of the, neg of the bigger number. So it will be negative 3. So since we already have here the same, so we put, since 1 is positive, we put 1 here, and your 4 is negative, so you put 4 here. Now, after getting the factors of the first denominator, proceed to the second denominator, 3x plus 3. So in here, we use, so again, here we use GT. Here we use CMF common monomial factor because we can see a common term, a common factor in each term. So the common factor is 3 because you have 3 on both terms. And then if you divide 3x by 3, 3 will be cancelled out so you are left with 3x. And then plus, then 3 divided by 3, that will be 1. So that will be x plus 1. So in here, that's the time that we're going to get the LCD. So you have a common factor here. So that will be x plus 1. I'm sorry. x plus 1 as the common factor. Then you have x minus 4. And then you have 3. So to simplify this, you put 3 at first so you can have this one 3 at first and then you copy this two so x plus 1 and then x minus 4 so this will be your LCD